so we we'll introduce how to balance basic simple chemical equations so write a balance equation for the reaction of molecular nitrogen and oxygen to form dinitrogen pentoxide so I believe that at this stage we already understand that nitrogen exists atomically as given as well as oxygen okay so di means 2 pento means 5 that comes from the names of the polygons okay so pentan so that is where the pento is coming from the pent sorry and then oxide is oxygen so write a balanced chemical reaction for molecular nitrogen and oxygen to form so what forms is a product so dinitrogen pentoxide di means two so n2 pent means five so oxygen subscript five so that's what dinitrogen pentoxide is okay now we need to balance this equation so we'll try to observe a number of atoms on the left and the right hand side so i'll start first of all from nitrogen Look at nitrogen. On the left, we have two. I mean, we have on the right hand side, there are two. So that is okay. Let's observe oxygen. Oxygen has got two. On the right hand side, there are five. So is it balanced? It is not balanced. So where do we have a greater number of hydrogen atoms? We have a greater number of hydrogen atoms on the right hand side. We have five. On the left hand side, we have two so how do we get to balance that okay so the basic idea is we have two and five so how do you balance that so I can decide to get the bigger number which is five and I'll multiply again as two but that would give me ten so I'd have to put a two on the bottom so that is five over two so five over two times two Twos will cancel out to remain five. So we can use five over two to balance. So I can say five over two. So five over two tells us to say the twos will cancel out. Not necessarily that we are supposed to cancel them from the equation, no. Just that just have that in mind. So at this point. We have two nitrogen atoms, we have got five oxygen atoms, and then we have five oxygen atoms. So they are all balanced. But when we are balancing equations, they want us to balance with all numbers. So we would have to multiply the entire equation by the fraction. What number do we have on the bottom? We have a 2. So multiply the entire equation by a 2. So there is a 1 there. So it become 2 nitrogen plus... So the two will cancel out that two. You have you remain with five oxygen atoms. And then here you, there is a one. So it will just become two nitrogen dinitrogen pentoxide. So you can try to count again. We have two times two, we have four. On the left as well. On the right, two times two, we have four as well. Five times two, we have ten. Two times five, we also have ten. So you can now observe that the number of nitrogen and the oxygen atoms are balanced in this equation. So feel free to attempt the two questions. You are at liberty of pausing the video and try them out to see if you've understood. So reaction of ethane which has been given with oxygen to yield water and carbon dioxide. So quickly write the equation. Oxygen exists atomically, so O2. To produce water and carbon dioxide. Let's observe. How many carbon atoms do we have? We have two. On the left, we have one. So already that is the starting point. I can put a two there. So we've balanced the number of carbon atoms. How many hydrogen atoms do we have? We have six. We have two. 
so i can put a three there so now notice that i didn't start with oxygen so don't start with a reactant that is contained in more than one compound because oxygen is part of water and also carbon dioxide starting with it would be a very bad idea because it can become very difficult for us to balance so start with the ones that are just existing in only one compound for example hydrogen only in water and carbon only in carbon dioxide okay now we can go to our oxygen atom so we've balanced hydrogen and we've also balanced carbon so observe that three times a oxygen atom we have three there and then two times two there we have four so three plus four gives us seven oxygen atoms on the right hand side and on the left hand side how many do we have we have two so seven is an odd number we cannot balance it so we can only use a fraction again we we'll just say seven over a two the two is going to cancel with a two so we have seven on the left as well but notice that we can't leave our answer in fraction form so that requires us to multiply now the entire equation again by what by a two so just do that so there's a one there so it will become two the seven over two itself the two cancel out you will just remain with a seven the three will become a six the two will become a four so that is our result after multiplying by a two you can try to observe how many carbon atoms two times two is four we have four hydrogens two times six twelve six times two twelve oxygen seven times two fourteen six times zero, six times one oxygen gives us six and then four times two gives us eight so eight plus six fourteen so we've balanced the equation for the second one molecular nitrogen and molecular hydrogen to produce ammonia so do you know what ammonia is so ammonia is nh3 okay so in case you didn't try it out you can try it out so nitrogen exists atomically hydrogen also exists atomically to give us ammonia observe first nitrogen we have two on the left we have one what can we do we can put it two there hydrogen how many do we have we have two on the left at this point how many we have two times three it's a six right is that okay so not a six necessary a three so I need to give us a six as well so we've balanced the number of nitrogens are two on the left and the right hand side the number of hydrogen atoms are six on both sides what if you decide to start with balancing hydrogen what happens so we have three hydrogen atoms and two hydrogen atoms on the left hand side what if you try so the only way you can balance is we have got three there as a subscript so i can multiply the entire one by three now that to give us six so i'd have to put the two three over two which is going to give us a three and then nitrogen we have a two there so on the right hand side i have one so i can put one over two because I don't want to put the two there because if I put the two it will affect the hydrogens that have already balanced so at this point you can multiply the entire equation by two so the two cancel out from the first part so which gives us the same answer so irrespective of what you start off you start with you're going to get the same answer and that marks the end of this video thank you very much for watching